I did not always used to be an organized person, but now that I have developed myself to be a more organized person, it actually drives me nuts when people aren't organized and they don't declutter their, their stuff. So today I'm going to be introducing you to the G Suite Tool Belt. So the G Suite tool belt is really the Google offerings. So everyone's heard of Google and there are three tools that they offer for free that are super valuable and very important. I don't, I can't imagine trying to run my business without them. Uh, and these tools are the tools that keep us out of quadrant three and quadrant four, which is reactionary, non-important way of building anything. You can't build from those spaces. We need to get things clear and uncluttered. So these tools are, number one, is your email. You have to have a really good email management system. So I'm going to explain a few of the tools and tricks and the way I organize it. And if you have your own method, great, but take what you want and make sure that you feel really confident about decluttering your inbox. Number two is Google Drive. This is where you house your entire in my case, my whole company is, the whole company is housed in Google Drive. And so a really clear way of systematically organizing files as they come into your uh, circle of influence and circle of concern. And number three is you are Google Calendar, which is really where you build and live your life from. This is how you schedule out your whole year, really, is your Google Calendar. And uh, that is it. So let's, let's just dive right into it. And uh, I'm going to... Start walking you through these three amazing tools. All right, so first tool we're going to check out and explore is going to be Gmail. So as you can see here, I've got my, my inbox has 11 emails in there right now. And uh, pretty much my whole inbox and email, I've categorized everything. I've created folders for all the core things that I need to do in my business. So I will just kind of comb through this really slowly. So if you want to copy down some of these different categories that are useful for you as you build out your folder system for your Gmail. So I have all my CRM stuff, different conversations I have with people, um, coaching, all my coaching stuff is here. Anything to do with the CRMs, my customer, customer relationship management system anything to do with education stuff that I'm currently doing, different franchises, any all my investment folders, so stock investing, real estate investing, crypto investing, um, all my different marketing categories, so anything to do with cold callers, cold caller training, clothing, Canva, branding, uh, equipment, marketing equipment stuff, flyer deliveries, Google AdWords, Google Analytics, Google Reviews, so you can click into any of these and it'll have everything to do with that category. Well, I guess I don't, I don't use home stars, so there's not much there, but let's go to Google reviews, all the different Google reviews that have come in and I just house them into this folder. So it goes on and on and on all the different categories for operations, all the different categories for personal stuff, my, my personal things, production management stuff, professional development, all the different recruitment folders. So that's a big one is like, recruitment callbacks for that I need for I may hire Craigslist advertisement stuff employment agreements that I'm house like storing right, if I click into that here's all the different employment agreements and just keeps on going so recruitment stuff sales I, I like to house all my booked jobs um, deposit paid emails estimates canceled emails estimate scheduled emails so I can click in here and I can see every different single estimate that was scheduled throughout the whole year and they all come in through Calendly um, sale final payment invoices so you know say a customer wants I can see all the different final payments that have come through so I don't get rid of anything I except for stuff that is not important um, anything to do with sales though look at all these different sales folders uh, software stuff, all my different software licenses, GoDaddy, Canva, Calendly, Apple, right? These are all the receipts for everything. Um, what else we got here? 
we have all my different subcontractor stuff, accepted subcontracts, subcontractor invoices, so all the different payouts that I've done for subcontractors, um, anything to do with vehicles, my leases, right? Here's anything to do with the leases for the, the sprinter vans, insurance document stuff. Anything, so I've really just created a system that I can understand and you know, I, you, you know, I don't. I don't think you should have more than you need for folders. But you know, this is how much mine has built up. I kind of audit it once every year or so. I'll go through and I'll delete and I'll try and consolidate different things. Um, like here, we got another one. Credit all the different credit card processing ones. This one's come in handy a lot for me, just because uh, customers sometimes are like, oh, I haven't paid or I ha I paid already, and I can just come in here and check to see what payments have come through, right? Here's a payment for $1,200 on seven days ago or whatever it is, right? So some of the action items I have to do with email is when you go into your inbox, so let's just do a couple right now. So like here is uh, paint invoices, right? So they've invoiced me for some paint that was put on the account. So I can actually just go ahead and I can folderize it. I put it into the Sherwin-Williams paint folder, which is one in, in the tabs over here. This is a, a webinar for business planning. So I'm going to put that into a folder. It's paint, Painting Business Pro course. It's a course that I'm currently in. So it's an education thing. So I'll just put that in the mailing list right here. Um, what is this one? This is a personal thing about Peru. So I actually, do, I've already read this and I don't need it. So anything that is not important or relevant to the company, I, I can either keep it or I could actually just delete it. So I'm going to delete that. And I'm always trying to keep my, my account here under 10 emails. If I'm not ready to deal with something, I'll leave it in here. But once it's dealt with, I got to get it out of my inbox. So this is all tax stuff. And um, these are just emails I haven't dealt with yet and are not ready to deal with. So we want to keep the inbox clear of anything that is unimportant or already dealt with. You want to unsubscribe to anything that is not directly important for your purpose or your top priorities. And you want to make all those folders in each category of your life and your business. So think through this very carefully and go through your inbox and start sorting emails into the appropriate folders for future reference. Um, as you deal with emails and schedule action items to address these important emails, remove them from the inbox uh, so that you're uncluttered. There's nothing worse than seeing someone who has got like literally like thousands of emails <laughs> in there. Um, other than that, I recommend you... Uh, have no more than 10 to 15 emails at any given time in your inbox and you will feel the lack of clutter and it will affect you on a day-to-day -day basis by not having the clutter. The next system I want to go and check out would be Google Drive. So very similar, here's my Google Drive. So I got Colorcraft here, Colorcraft Painting Company. And I use a numbering system when you actually put in these numbers right here. So you can go and rename them. These numbers will prioritize where it'll be in here, but using the numbering system within folders as well as in the main folders will keep everything nice and clear. Re again, think through this at a high level. I recommend just copying what I have done here. And everyone will have, all of us have the daily reports. So if you click into the daily reports, in order, I have all the different systems I use. So I've got these 10 systems, but this is the company's training and standard operating pr procedure and system. Then I got my own personal coaching uh, template here. I've got the one page, my one page strategic plan here, my business plan, my lead tracking plan, my production schedule, my job cost cards for all each of the different crews that are, that are currently operating that are not subcontracting crews. Um, my marketing and direct mail strategy. So like my uh, cold calling strategy, and then my life goals and priority management scheduling stuff. But you know how you can see how it's all just nicely laid out for different categories of my business. So if you go into my goal setting and review tab, which is my coaching tab, I have all the different folders for all the people who have, who I'm doing coaching with at the moment. And it's in order. If I go into like my uh, people and recruitment, I'd find all my payroll stuff, right? Nicely ordered in the correct way that I want to look at things and how I want to read it. I could go into, uh, for instance, my business administration folder, all the different business admin kind of systems. So bookkeeping, accounting, 
um, credit card stuff, franchising stuff, liability insurance, workers' compensation, right? So we can work through this together. You can work through it with me or with your coach, um, which is probably me. And uh, yeah, you just want to think through this at a really high level because when, once you get this right, it'll save you a lot of clutter in your mind. And that's the biggest key to it. Right. One of the things I'm really stoked on this year is actually adding the company training and standard operating procedures um, folder because that actually same idea. I've had to think through it in a way that makes sense so that everything is easy to find, basically, and all the, the correct systems are easily identified and found depending on what stage of your business you're in. Right. But that's Google Drive. Um, so think through it really carefully. So some of the action items would be taking your time to get really familiar with everything that is important for running the business and then folderizing them into the correct way that you can read and understand. Uh, another thing would be to re review the drive often and make sure that it's formatted in a way that, a th think about it, if a stranger were to try and navigate it, would they know how to navigate your Google Drive, right? So I like to play, you know, it's very simple. We got goal setting, marketing, sales, people and recruitment, production, administration. So the, just like all the key categories of the business. Um, so that is Google Drive. The last one that you're going to be working with and becoming very masterful at is your Google Calendar. So we're in the off season right now. There's not much going on for me right now, um, but you can kind of see my schedule. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually going on a trip for, it's almost Christmas time, so I'm actually going away for Christmas here, so there's not much going on. And right now you can see I'm filming video courses. All These are all the courses I'm filming. And I just schedule my time. I schedule out my whole week. What are the things I'm executing on? And this is all relative to my strategic plan and my business plan, what I have to build this year. Right On the Saturday 24th, I'm redoing a couple of the pages on the main website. And this is my schedule, right? So you're going to be going through and starting to schedule action plans and your whole business development system will be scheduled into your Google Calendar to make sure that you're making the most of your months, of your years, of your building towards your long-term vision, really. Right? We're scheduling the growth towards our long-term vision. So these are the, this is the G Suite tool belt. Um, I'm gonna cover a little bit more on Google Calendar as we get into strategic planning, um, which is gonna be the next module. And uh, yeah, go through this with your coach or with myself if I'm the one coaching you and we will uh, start making you a ninja when it comes to organization. So that is it for this training and we'll see you in the next one.